Natalie Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. It is Throwback Thursday. I am bringing to you another one of my all time favorite oldie but goodie DIY tutorials. And this is a Dollar Tree tutorial that you are not going to want to miss. This one, I remember when I uploaded it, I got a lot of feedback because a lot of people, I think, weren't understanding the concept behind it. And so this time I figured I'd explain beforehand that these are for decorative purposes only. I know that there are ways to actually preserve what's being put in these bottles, but the ones that I'm making today are for decorative purposes only. These are a decorative bottle that I have had in my kitchen for years. I have collected these. I've always really liked them. And so when I saw these bottles here at the Dollar Tree, I knew that these were perfect for making these type of bottles and I could very easily make some of these and gift them on a budget using items that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think that this is such a budget friendly DIY and the outcome is amazing and with the holidays coming up this is another one of those DIYs like I just said that makes for an amazing gift to give. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it and let me show you this oldie but goodie favorite tutorial of mine using these bottles from the Dollar Tree. Alrighty, for this super quick and easy, but most of all budget friendly DIY from the Dollar Tree, you're gonna need two bottles of extra virgin olive oil. I get it at the Dollar Tree for projects like this because the quality of it doesn't really matter and the price is right. I also picked up these three jars. One of them is salad olives with pimentos, a jar of pepperoncinis, and this back one is a combination of cauliflower, carrots, and peppers. I picked these out because the colors are bright and vibrant and bold. And I'll also be using these two jars because the cap is perfect, the shape, they are decorative bottle, and you can get these at the Dollar Tree just about any time of year. The Dollar Tree really is the place to get these because they are a dollar. When you go to Walmart, Albertsons, Vons, whatever the grocery store is that's near you, you're going to pay much more than a dollar a jar. And like I said, keep in mind that the quality and the taste doesn't matter for this. We really are just going for the color and the different shapes and styles of the vegetables that you're going to be using in these jars. I'm gonna start off by draining the liquid out of each of the jars, then separating everything by color. There really is no need to rinse these off before we dive into the DIY. If you want to, you can, but just by simply straining out the liquid, that should be good enough. Once you've got the liquid strained out, I set these aside for about a half an hour just to kind of let everything dry out just a bit. Now taking these beautiful decorative bottles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I love these because these come in several different styles. So pick one up that you really like or pick several up that you really like and make a bunch of this DIY. You're gonna start layering in your vegetables. And it really is just as simple as that. When layering these in, I suggest really doing contrasting colors as you put them in so your colors don't blend together because this is something that you really want bright vibrant colors for when filling this you don't want to really stuff this jar too tightly you want it filled to the top once you get it filled to the top you're going to take your bottle of extra virgin olive oil you're going to fill your jar up one bottle of olive oil from the dollar tree fills up one of these bottles perfectly and of course, staying true to my nature, I'm gonna finish the top of this bottle off with some twine and one of my twine bows. The three jars of vegetables and the two bottles of olive oil that I got from the Dollar Tree were enough to make two full decorative bottles. For the second bottle, I did dive into my pantry and get a can of black beans because I thought the color contrast would look really good with the green olives and the pepperoncinis. When using the black beans though, you do wanna make sure and rinse them off because it will give your oil and your bottle a clouded look. And it really was just as quick and easy as that. Two 
decorative vegetable bottles using all Dollar Tree items. These bottles go anywhere from $30 to $50 if you were to buy them at Target, and we just made them for under the bargain price of seven using items that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I tell you, I really love these decorative bottles. I've always collected these, and when I figured out how to make them on my own, I've, I've made them for probably three years now, and I still have this original set in my kitchen, and it's been probably three or four years, and they have held up perfectly. There has been no bacteria growth in them. Everything that was placed in these bottles stayed perfectly. Nothing has disintegrated or fallen apart, and so these are definitely a great budget-friendly gift to give, and if you're into these decorative bottles the way I am, you can really get creative with what you're putting inside of them. I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday favorite oldie but goodie DIY of mine. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comments below if you really like this Throwback Thursday and you want to see more of them. And let's make sure to get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Thank you.